is your name, Jesus. You deserve our praise, worthy is your name. Greetings, fellow believers. I'm so delighted to be alive and well with you today. Behind me is a beautiful image of Jesus at his throne. And the angels are with their trumpet are just worshiping. Everyone is worshiping, all the angels in heaven and all the believers here on Sunday, well, Saturday evenings and Sunday are worshiping God. Praise be to God, for he is so worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. I can't wait to return home someday when my job is all done here on earth. I really look forward to spending eternity with Father and with Jesus, my dear brother, and all my loved ones that are there before me now. Praise be to God. There will be no pain, no suffering, no depression, no anxiety, no fear, none of that stuff. None of it. That'll all just stay here on this earth. Praise be to God for heaven that he's created heaven for us to go to be with him. And it's such a, a sanctuary of love and joy and peace. Thank you, Father. All right. Let's go ahead and dive into the scripture for today. I will be reading from 1 Chronicles 16.25 from NIV. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. The word of the Lord for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for being our one and only Holy God, our Father, our Creator of heaven and earth, thank you that we can come to you. We can have a relationship with you. We can praise you and honor you, and you can show us you are alive and well here today. You are not just some statue of some God or some person, a prophecy, or you know someone well known back in the day uh, that is just dead, that they have no spirit that is here with us, Lord. And we, Father, we want to thank you that we are not worshiping an idol, but we are worshiping the one and only true God. We thank you so much for your unconditional love. We thank you for working with us, fixing us of what the world had ruined and hurt, Lord, that we are able to overcome all things through you because of what you have gone through, Jesus, and you've shown us all things are possible. So we rely on your truth. We rely on your promise. And we thank you that we have the ability to worship you, to honor you. Receive our worship today, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. All right, my dear brothers and sisters, until tomorrow, shalom.